Hello guys, welcome to EZTV Presents Dream Career Line. Today I'll talk about your career, like how you can develop your career. In the United States, a lot of the immigra immigrant people still come to the United States and after they come, they have some degrees from their back home, but they don't know actually how to utilize their degree, right? So most of the people, they involve with our jobs. So our jobs means some restaurants or grocery store, some other place, gas station, right? So what you are getting, you are like day by day, you are uh, getting frustrated. Like actually what I'm doing, what I did in my back home and what I'm doing here. So how you can change your career. So whatever the place you're working right now, just save some time for yourself, for your career. Maybe you're working five days a week or six days a week or seven days a week reduce your working time on your or job place save some time to do some professional training whatever the career whatever the subject you studied in your uh, student life from your back home or what? here don't worry about it which subject you studied in United States IT is the line where IT is the career where very quickly you can achieve your goal. Very quickly means within a short time. You don't need to invest huge amount of time. Just six months. Six months is nothing for your life. If you think about your student life, you 15 invest. to 20 years you spend for your study but still you are confused still you are frustrated you are not getting a job but i'm talking about just invest another six months dedicated six months and definitely you will get a job definitely you will get a job so if you spend dedicated six month time to do to change your career to it and you will be success if you can do that now a questions actually what the question is which track you should go you don't know nothing about the IT right so in IT there is a several track in IT there is a several track you can go with the software testing if you don't know nothing about it you can go with a database administrator or administration or database developer like SQL database, Oracle database, others, others, lots of database exist. So you can go anywhere or Hadoop or some other place. Um, there's a lot of track, okay? And, and also you can go for um, programming as a programmer, right? So you can be a .NET programmer or .NET developer or you can be a Java developer or Java programmer everything has a demand but today i'm gonna talk about specific one thing which is a system admin a lot of you guys doesn't have any idea of what is the system admins system admins is the very first things in it company the very first place where any company if they want to start their it department they need at least one person first person they need which is a system admin because without system admin they cannot start their IT department now think how much demand not only in the United States all over the world whatever the company it's not mean that it's an ID company maybe it's a production company think about the Walmart think about Shell gas station like the corporate company think about um, other other production company or any company each and every company their business nature may be different their business type is maybe different but to manage their business to manage their organization they need an IT company and when they they need an IT company that means they need a persons to start that's the system admin so each and every company in the whole world to manage their IT infrastructure or their not only IT infrastructure to manage their whole organization 
they need actually Active Directory, Microsoft Active Directory to manage the organization and who set it up, who configure, who manage that Active Directory, System Admin. System, system Admin will manage the Active Directory. So the System Admin job is not just managing the Active Directory and also in the infrastructure, there will be a lot of application going to be run on the infrastructure, right? Maybe your organization or maybe say XYZ company, say for example Walmart, in their, in their IT department, they have a software developer. That means .NET developer, they have a Java developer, right? They have an apps development team, they have a SharePoint development team, and, and then also they can have maybe for after develop the application, they need some tester to test the application, right? So they have maybe software tester, software engineer, which is key way, quality assurance team, right? And also for the application backend, they need a database. So maybe they, they need Oracle database administrator, maybe they need a QA administrator, right? But overall, the whole infrastructure to manage, so each and every team, so database administrator, they need a database. So how are they gonna get the database? Definitely that database is going to be sit on a machine and that machine who gonna made that machine who gonna manage that machine you as a system admin who gonna create that machine you as a system admin that means as a system admin you're gonna provide the infrastructure to all service areas all service areas so you're gonna provide support to all service areas So that means what? You, you're gonna develop the, uh, you're gonna create the environment, that means infrastructure. And after creating the infrastructure, you have to ensure them, you have redundancy. That means if this service goes bad, other service available. That means you're providing high availability, redundancy, and also disaster recovery. If the whole center is down, then you will have separate site where you can migrate everything to the other side which is called disaster recovery plus if for some reason everything goes away but some something like goes bad or crash how you can restore so you have to provide the backup support restore you're going to manage the storage to keep the data right so all those things is a managed by infrastructure team and you are not a single person just run everything by yourself, no. Because whenever it is an infrastructure team, that means there will be more persons involved, like more system admin, system engineer will be involved in your team. So that's why I'm saying the system administration, system admin has a lot of values in the organization. And you have a lot of jobs. Maybe some company, they don't need their DBA because they purchase application from third party a lot of organizations they don't need developer programmer because they just purchase or they go with uh, like what is called the yearly um, subscription based application they're using right so they pay yearly or monthly they don't need to hire directly application developer Java developer or maybe DBA or maybe Oracle developer, right? They don't need, but they need system admin. That means what? Each and every organization needs system admin. And this course is designed actually hands-on, 100% hands-on. That means in, in SUP Institute, what we teach, whenever you go for a job in a company, from your starting day, what they're gonna show you and what their infrastructure is, everything we're gonna show you in our training. Everything. So we teach Windows, we teach networking, we teach VMware, like to create a virtual uh, data center, to how to build a virtual data center, and also we teach how to manage them how you can monitor them after you build and then how you take a backup 
and how we can ensure security. So we teach everything in this course. So if you are ready, don't waste your time. Just look at my description box. There is the address, contact with them. Whatever the state you belong to, it doesn't matter because it's an online course. And I give you guarantee, we teach you 100% hands-on. If it is online or if, if you're in, in person, it doesn't matter. And, it's, and also, it's not like limited to the United States. If you live in Canada, Australia or any other country, you can take this course. So, don't waste your time. Register today or contact with uh, the company so they will give you information. Registration is free so you can register at any time. Then they will make a whitelist and from the, from the whitelist they can call you when they start their batch. Okay. So thank you. Thanks for watching this video and I hope this video will clear your uh, confusion. Again, thank you. Thanks for watching. And if you're new in my channel, please subscribe my channel. See you again.